on Change Maker today, we have Tanya Martin and uh, Angel Celeste. Welcome to the show, guys. Hi, Angel. Hi. How are you? Fine. Thank are you feeling good today? Yeah. Tanya, karibu sana. Good morning. Good Holly. morning. So good lovely morning. to be with you today. You are doing an amazing thing. Just before we get to Angel, maybe you can introduce yourself to the people and tell us what exactly you do um, for us. I know you're a uh, charitable ambassador, and it's, it's not just a title because it comes with so much responsibility, and you're doing a good job. <laughs> Thank at you. it, at it. And this is your camera. Thank you. So, uh, yes, I am the Goodwill Ambassador for Embracing the World. It's an affiliation with M.A. Mart, the Charitable Trust, Kenya. Yeah. We handle the White Crane Project for the visually impaired in Kenya. Mm -hmm. This has not just come up just like that. No. It stemmed up from my passion to serve. Apart from the corporate field, I always wanted to go out there to touch lives, to serve people, and what more better than to serve people with a vision. Oh, like they wow. say, yes. it's very easy to be blind without mm -hmm. sight, mm -hmm. but you can only help people if you have the vision That's to go true. forward. That is so true. And when God has given us sight, why not help people in darkness? Mm. So that's where it stemmed from. And I had the opportunity of meeting with the hugging saint of this global project, mm -hmm. Mata Amrita Nandmai. I stemmed from there, from seeing her passion in helping people across the world, especially the underprivileged. Mm -hmm. And this just gave me the motivation to go ahead, to be that voice, to be the eyes for these people who can't see. And I'm glad to make a difference in Kenya for this nationwide project. Yeah, and you are because, well, the number of um, white canes that you have distributed in this country is quite, and not just this country, because uh, it cuts across the region as well. Yes. And before we even get to that, um, Angel, yes. how old are you? Um, nine, I am 10 years. Ten years old this year. Yeah. And uh, what school do you go to? I'm going to Mani Primary School. Ah, okay. And I saw you in a music video, uh, doing such a good job. Uh, I saw the video, and it is beautiful. All the amazing people who are in there, and sometimes it just shows that you know um, disability is not inability. We are all gifted in amazing different ways. What prompted that particular music video? So while undertaking this project, I love to sing, dance, take out my creative side at uh -huh. times, uh -huh. um, and it depends. So one day I just thought, why not take out their talent as well? Make use of their talent because like you said, disability is not inability. No, it's not. And they can do everything under the sun. So why oppress them? And that was when one day I just got to just writing the lyrics, composing it. And from there, it just went on to become the song. And uh, getting the, um, the people who actually played, uh, played the piano, played the guitar, played the drums, and having Angel in it as well. Um, did you know these people before? Had you interacted with them? Uh, and, you know, following up on their lives as well, because they th you sh guys you should just watch that video to understand why i'm so uh you know excited about it because it's it it is beautiful it shows us a different side to them and to the things that probably we just live our lives without taking yes. care or taking note or being concerned or doing what mm -hmm. tanya martin is doing in our little beautiful ways oh thank you um i i just wanted to do the video with a difference yes because we normally have normal people, mm. when I say normal, just like you and me, mm -hmm. performing, mm. doing various things. Mm -hmm. I was very focused and adamant on having the visually impaired in my music video. Mm -hmm. And I was assisted by Kenya Society for the Blind, yeah. who helped me to do that as well. And that's and the video right yes, there, guys. I that is, see it on the split. That is the video right there. Mm -hmm. And I'm grateful to Kenya Society for the Blind because they connected me to these talented artists. Yeah. And I just went from one step to the other, and it just happened to just go with the flow. And I was so grateful for all of them coming on board and for 
getting this out to Kenya and to the world, yeah. to show the world that they are capable of doing the menial things that even we can do. Yeah. You don't have to suppress them. And they're saying, I can't play a piano, I can't play a guitar. You know what I mean? Of it's some things even we cannot do, but we need to take time to appreciate that. Yes. Talking about the White Crane Project and the things that it does, maybe you can just break it down for us, what it's done so far, creating an impact in this country. So the White Crane Project was initiated in 2013 by our chairperson, Ms. Arja Shah. Mm -hmm. They started from distributing 30 canes, to the blind, went on to 300, 3,000. She would take the canes and distribute it uh, to any blind person that she would see across the street or whenever she would travel, keep the canes in her car. Yeah. Uh, I wish uh, I could have her here today, um, but soon. Yes. Um, so from there, people seen the difference that we were creating in this country. Mm -hmm. And we were fortunate to have a generous donor in 2020, although COVID had started then, mm. we were fortunate to have 15,000 white canes donated for Kenya. Now, there are around 500,000 mm -hmm. visually impaired persons in Kenya. Mm -hmm. We've just started catering to 5% of this section. Yeah. Through the White Crane Project, we hope to touch each of their lives, to help each of these beneficiaries because this is what they need and this is the need of their R. That is so true. The blind rely on touch. Mm. Mm. During the COVID pandemic, you can't social distance if you don't follow the guidelines, follow the rules. How are they going to social distance themselves? So it's very important for a white cane to be handed over to them. Yeah. And we are grateful for our partners. We have Safaricom, we have G4S, Lions Club, Huru, um, Rotary Club of Karangeta. We have the likes of all of them coming on board, individuals, yeah. corporates, mm -hmm. donors, to support us. Kenya Union of the Blind, Kenya Society for the Blind. Mm -hmm. We have all of them who have come on board to help us make this project a nationwide project. And that's the reason why we can go forward. Okay. Angel, uh, growing up when you were little, did you have a cane before? When did you first have your uh, white cane? Can you remember? Yes, I remember. Mm -hmm. When was that? When, How? Mm -hmm. when I grew up, uh -huh. I got a cane. You got a cane? Yeah. And you know how to use it perfectly by yourself? Yeah. Uh, can we see that? Yeah. Okay. Do you need help standing up or are you okay? I am okay. 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 Cool. So Angel, you'll just have to stand up to walk here. Do, show, us, show, us, show us how you can walk a little with the cane and then turn back. Just walk a little there. Kidogo too. Kidogo. Okay. Uh, good stuff. And then you can just sit back. Alafu, do they, do, do they get trained to use this? Am I comes instinctively? We also train them. Okay. Um, some of them, of course, um, know how to use it because it's human instinct. Mm -hmm. But training is very important. Mm -hmm. So through Kenya Society for the Blind, yes, we also undergo training, mm -hmm. and we're looking at tying up with Capie as well and other such organisations who come forward to train, where we have the train the trainer program. So we're also training the visually impaired to train the visually impaired. Wow. So that um, it's it's a ripple effect. It's a cycle that goes forward mm -hmm. for this section of the society. So yes, okay. we also undergo uh, training programs. I'd like to note on that one yes. that uh, the Kenya Society for the Blind uh, undertakes the Kenya Integration Education Program along with the Ministry of Education. Mm -hmm. Through this program, they try to incorporate visually impaired children and persons into public schools. Yeah. So far, they have around 3,000 children in 541 schools in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And through the program, they try to look at areas such as educational materials. Yes. So they look at slates, they look at braille machines, mm -hmm. audio readers for them, mm -hmm. uh, training, training of teachers. Teacher training is very important mm -hmm. to ensure the integration of this section along with normal peers.
Okay. And sensitization is very important because uh, it's very paramount that they are uh, inclusive in our society. So sensitization of this topic uh, across all spheres, whether it's corporates, whether it's uh, organizations, whether mm -hmm. it's schools, is very important about this. So yes, we undertake these programs as well, and Kenya Society for the Blind handles this for okay. us. There's a contentious issue that is uh, being talked about right now, and that is the vaccine. Yes. So everybody is concerned about it and uh, how safe it is. Okay. We've had people saying, if you're pregnant, please don't take it. If you're breastfeeding, please don't take it. Um, what, what is being done about the visually impaired? Is it okay? Is it is it a conversation that is also going on? In fact, that's one of the reasons I'm here, mm -hmm. because I'd like to start this conversation uh, on a national level at this moment. Okay. We have the facility to, and we know that at one point in time we would be we would be able to get vaccinated, but for the visually impaired, they really don't know when and how it's going to happen. Yeah, we have a solution for that. Okay, and I'd like to address this today, saying that we have a center at the Kenya Society for the Blind. We have the space available. We would appreciate if the government comes forward to target this section of the society and help them get vaccinated as soon as possible. We have the space, we have the facility available. We just need the government to support us in this initiative for the visually impaired. That would create a great impact for Kenya. Tanya, are you saying that this is not happening at the moment? It's not happening at the moment because I also had a conversation with Celestian's mum mm -hmm. just before this mm -hmm. interview and uh, she, she told me the same thing. She gave her reply where she said that they don't know when and they don't know what's going to happen. So people are unaware in this country, but it's very important that this is laid out today. Yes. And I'm sure that this is going to change the way people are going to think and it's going to start the ball rolling for um, the vaccines for the visually impaired. Yeah. Because they don't have a voice. Mm. They don't have someone to talk for them mm. and I'm I'm glad to be here to be that voice for them okay so that we can uh, step this up for the vaccination for them for Kenya absolutely and how can we be part of this I know it's not an easy project and uh, their donors their people who are their sponsors who are partnering with you but as a normal Monanchi how can I be part of this project and you know donate a little bit yes. to help help somebody else get a white king here it's very important that each one viewing this conversation today could come on board and assist us with a white cane. Mm -hmm. The cost of a white cane is 2,000 shillings. Okay. They can't afford their basic necessities. Where are they going to get their white cane from? Mm. With COVID come in, we also have depleted our funds with corporates, donors, sponsors coming on board. So we are looking at individuals, corporates, donors, Wherever you are at this moment as well, if you are watching this and if you're listening, we're happy if you can come forward to donate a white cane in your name for the visually impaired. You can reach us at ayudkenya at gmail.com. We also have our m number 713121 mm -hmm. that they can m to us. Mm -hmm. Just say that again. 713121 is okay. the m -Pesa number mm -hmm. where you can m to us and we will be happy to donate a white cane in your name. You can either donate one white cane, 10 white canes, it all depends on what you feel like giving to these beneficiaries. Absolutely. We look forward to the support mm -hmm. and we look forward to people, to more and more people coming on board for supporting this cause because this is the section of our society that is normally neglected. Mm. People don't really um, think about them, people don't really know about them mm -hmm. and uh, I, I would be grateful if we have supporters coming on board. Even after this interview, you can reach out to me. You can reach out to my handles um, on social media, and I'll be grateful to assist wherever we can. Please give us your handle, Tanya. My handle is Tanya Martin underscore official. We also have Ayud Kenya on Instagram. You can reach out to us and ayudkenya at gmail.com. And I'll repeat the MPESA number again. 713121 that is 713121 is where you can help us with your white cane for them. Asante sana. Angel, 
Yes. Asante sana kwa kuja. But tujatuambia teacher anaitwaje? Do you have a favorite teacher? Yeah. Aha, who's your favorite teacher in school? My teacher is Teacher Beth. Teacher Beth. Yeah. And do you have like a close friend as well? Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. what's the name of your close friends? Ni wawili ama ni mmoja? Ni wangapi your close friends? My friends mm -hmm. are many. Mm -hmm. I would just give me like two or three. Give them a shout out. You're on TV. Say hi to them. Hi, everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the names of your friends? My friend is Pauline. Uh -huh. and, Do you go to school with her? Yeah, na letangwa na baba yake shule. Ah, so Pauline, aha. Uh -huh. Na nani mwingine? And Quinta. And Quinta. Yeah. Ah, yes. Yeah. So, well, thank you so much for coming through, Angel. Thank you. And thank you, Tanya, as well. Thank you, Mukeli. We are taking a very short commercial break. We will be right back. This is Full Circle with Mukeli. <laughs>